This tutorial focuses on creating and editing registration questions. If your questions are already set up and saved, and you would like to learn more about creating question logic, then please refer to the section on How to Set Up Question Logic. After you have completed setting up your race using the wizard, you can customize your registration process by adding questions if necessary. Questions can also be customized to be asked during corporate team creation, corporate team registration, and or kiosk registration. To add questions to your race registration process, kiosk registration, and or corporate team creation, go to the race tab of the dashboard, click on the subheading for registration, and open up the question section. To add questions to your corporate team registration process, follow the steps for arriving at the setup member questions section of corporate teams, as is explained in either the section for how to manage a corporate team for race directors, or how to manage a corporate team for captains, and then continue with question setup as usual. To begin question setup, click on the button labeled Add Question. In the Custom Question section, enter in your first question, and then, depending on what type of question it is, indicate the best answer format from those provided. Question types include Freeform, Checkbox, Radio Button, Select Menu, Yes or No, and Time Entry. This video will walk you through setting up each of these question types. To jump ahead to an upcoming section, or back to a previous section, simply click on that question type. To skip past the question type section altogether, simply click Question Settings. Freeform Questions By selecting Freeform, registrants will simply be given a text field underneath the question, and in it they can enter in an answer using their own words. Validation can be set up on your freeform question, and this can be used to require that the response be in the form of a positive whole number, a whole number, a decimal number, an email address, a phone number, or a date. You can set a character limit validation, in which case you will need to indicate the maximum number of characters allowed in a registrant's response, or you can select allowed values in which case you can create certain allowed values that registrants must enter in exactly in order to proceed with registration. This option is useful if you would like to offer password protected registration. Freeform questions also allow you to set a default response, which registrants will see written in the text field prior to filling in their own response. Checkbox questions. By creating a question with checkboxes, you allow registrants to select any number of responses to your question, so be sure to only use checkboxes when you have a question for which more than one answer can apply. If you would like to limit your registrants' responses to one answer, you may want to consider radio button or select menu questions. If you select checkbox, a field will appear in which you can add a possible response to the question you have asked. By clicking add another response, you can continue creating response fields until you have all of the possible responses that you need set up for that question. The responses can be rearranged by using the up and down arrows, and you can delete any response by clicking on the corresponding X. If you would like to set up a default response, or default responses, which will be selected when the registrant first views the question, then you can do so by simply marking off the boxes for default in the rows for the corresponding response or responses. Radio button and select menu questions. Radio button and select menu questions are similar to checkbox questions in that they all offer you the ability to input preset responses. However, radio button and select menu questions restrict registrants to selecting only one response per question. The only difference between radio button and select menu questions is that a radio button question will display all of its responses in a similar format as the checkbox question, while the select menu question will list all of its responses in the form of a drop-down menu. Again, they will both only allow for one selection to be made. If you would like to allow for registrants to select multiple responses, then you may want to consider checkbox questions. When you select either radio button or select menu, a field will appear in which you can add a possible response to the question that you have asked. By clicking add another response, 
you can continue creating response fields until you have all of the possible responses that you need set up for that question. The responses can be rearranged by using the up and down arrows, and you can delete any of the responses by clicking on the corresponding X. If you would like to set a default response, which will be selected when the registrant first views the question, then you can simply mark off the box for default in the row of the corresponding response. Yes or no questions. By setting the question type as yes or no, registrants will be given the option to answer either yes or, wait for it, no. For yes or no questions, you can set which of these responses, if any, should be selected as the default response. If set, the default response will be selected when the registrant first views the question. Time entry questions. The final question type is time entry. This question type will allow you to gather a response in the form of a time, which is useful if your race is interested in collecting estimated finishing times or current personal records. If you would like to limit your time entry to be above a minimum time or below a maximum time, then you can do so in the hours, minutes, and seconds fields provided. And if you would like to set a default response for the question, then you can enter this as well. Default responses are not required. Question settings. After you have your question type selected, the next step is to decide whether or not this question is essential to the registration process. If you leave the require response box unchecked, then the registrant will have the option to either answer or skip the question. If you check off the require response box, then the registrant must answer this question before moving on with the registration. The next checkbox refers to how questions will be handled in instances where more than one member is registering during a single transaction. By leaving the Ask Each Member box unchecked, the question will only be asked once for the entire group. If the Ask Each Member box is checked, then the question will be asked of each of the people who are registering. Please note that in instances where the Ask Each Member box is checked off, members can still choose to skip the question unless it is marked as a required question. If you have an image that you would like associated with your question, then you can upload it by clicking the Choose File button and selecting the image file. You can hit Clear to remove the image prior to saving your changes. And if you have already saved an image in association with a question and you would like to remove that image, then simply check the box marked Remove Image and save the changes. Using the checkboxes provided, questions can be assigned to either corporate team captains or specific event registrants. Underneath the label for corporate team only, you can check off the box to ask this question to team captains when creating corporate teams. Underneath the label for ask for these events, you can decide which event or events will have questions asked of its registrants, or click all to ask this question for all events. And underneath the label for ask during kiosk registration, you can choose to ask this question during the kiosk registration method as well. If ask during kiosk registration is not selected, then this question will be omitted during the kiosk registration, even if it is selected for that event. Keep in mind that if a question is not assigned to any particular event's registrants or the corporate team captains, then that question will not appear anywhere. Additional details about the question can be included if necessary, and will be displayed to the registrant during the questions portion of the registration process. The order in which the questions appear to the registrants can be rearranged by using the up and down arrows, and you can delete any question by clicking on the X. Any amount of questions can be created by clicking on the button marked Add Question once more, and repeating the process, and when you are finished making changes, be sure to click Save Questions. Once your questions are saved, you can add question logic, which allows certain questions to be dependent on the answers to previous questions. For more information on this topic, please refer to how to set up question logic. A written instruction manual is also available for this topic and can be viewed and or downloaded in the how-to section of Run Sign Up. Other resources on this topic include participant management, custom questions. 
This video gives an example of how custom questions can be used to communicate with your participants.